Hello, I'm Frank Ruffalo, and today I'm going to do a book review of the Worst Witch Trilogy. I say trilogy, it's the first three installments in a series, and I think they're all pretty similar. They're pretty much just as good as each other, so I thought I'd review these three all at once. And, um, the first one, it's, you know, they all have charm, and laugh, and it's fun, and really nice illustrations, like there. And, uh, uh, oh, right the way through, really. And uh, everything a children's book should be, really. There is, um, it's about this girl at a boarding school where they learn magic. Uh, this is before Harry Potter, by the way. It wasn't the most, Harry Potter wasn't an incredibly original idea. This, uh, young people learning to use magic is an idea that had been played with a lot beforehand. And, um, she just finds herself in trouble a lot and is almost getting expelled and it's like up to her to try and sort herself out but often ends up getting in more trouble and just the little, little adventures and things she has and she has the dumbest cat ever there oh it's so cute though and so the first one like i said is everything a children's book should be and I'll, i might get a bit of hate for this but i don't think the second one was that good i it, it's not bad or anything, it just didn't quite live up to the first one. It just didn't do as much for me as the first one did. Like, um, it's set in the girls' boarding school, so it's going to be girly... I think it's sort of realistic, there will be girly fallouts. But her friend, Maud, there, in that picture, she's like, Eh, you show mild interest in another person, I don't want to be friends with you anymore, you just be friends with them. Like, and then she starts being friends with, um... The, not Enid, well, Mildred is friends with Enid, um, she starts being, she decides, decides to start hanging out with Ethel, because Ethel doesn't like Mildred, so Maud doesn't like Mildred now, so they're friends, of course, and, you know, I think girly fallouts do happen, but I guess it's realistic This that at some point between Mildred and Maud, this would happen at some point. Don't necessarily want to see it happen. Like, I think girly fallouts have been done better. Like, Louis, the way Louise Renison does it, she really makes girls see the error of their ways and see how ridiculous they are. But, um, so it's not a bad book, like I said. Um, I just didn't like it as much as the other, as the first one. Bad Spell. It's, oops. Bad Spell for the Worst Witch. This was far better than the second one. Um, you know, the illustrations, I think, get better with each book. There's a lot of texture in there, in them, and, like, that one. And, um, oh, I quite like this one. It's just, and, uh, I think the, this one exploits the fact that the magical school more than the other two did. In Worst Witch Strikes Again, there was just a several stuff that seemed a bit underexploited, like the monkey. Um, whereas this this adventure is more, like pretty much all about magic, and you notice small changes now that they are older. I think the characters there is some transformation throughout the book series. I'm not sure. Um, there's only so much I can say about it. Like everyone, people have praised the hell out of these. I love them. I'm sure a lot of other people love them. Well, tell me what you want me to review next.